So happy Friday guys, um, Nick here, let me turn this down, Nick here again, um, the flexible dieter, and it is, uh, obviously it's Friday, but I want to take you guys just through my day today, so starting a little bit late, um, 9.40, um, I've trained two clients this morning, yes, two clients, um, I've had two coffees and I haven't even eaten, so I'm, I've got a big buzz on here. Um, at the moment, I am PayPaling, so doing my end of month invoicing. I usually try and send these out about the 28th of each month. Um, it's the 29th now, but get them out. Um, bill my clients for the the, the upcoming month, um, as you do. Basically, what I've got on is I'm going to train with one of my older brothers, James. We're going to smash um, Big JC. We're going to smash a workout out with him. I've got a full upper body. I think he's got some back and shoulders, so that'll work out well. I'm going to do that. Um, at one o'clock, I have a photo shoot. I'm taking some photos of a rental property, so doing some work for my dad. Um, so I haven't done a job job like that in, in a few weeks, so it's good to good bit of extra money as well, so always good and keeps me busy. I'll take you guys along. I'll show you what I have for breakfast now. Uh, let's do it. It's a, it's a wicked day out there, really nice and sunny. Look at that. Shh. Sit, sit down. Oh, is that the good stuff? <laughs> gains. You making gains? So there you have it, guys. Meal one. Uh, basically, mixing two Chobanis, so a, a full fat one, about 4% 4, 4 fat, I believe it is, and then a lightly sweetened one just to sweeten it up a little bit. I'm chucking in a full banana, um, a serve of Special K, just for some, some carbs in there as well, and then a little bit of honey on top. So, looks fairly decent. Um, a bit lazy, I just eat it out of the tub. So we've just pulled up at the uh, job now. The real estate agent that I'm waiting for is about, I think he's about 10 minutes late. So looks like a good block. It's uh, taking some photos of an apartment block now. Um, I'll actually show you. It's this one in here. So it looks looks quite decent. Um, gonna do these photos and then we're gonna train. So I'm gonna do some upper body and I'll do a commentary for you guys. Um, and then on the way to the gym, we're also gonna grab some, some sort of pre-workout. So definitely need some carbs I'll probably have a little bit of caffeine as well so let's do that and I'll see you guys at the workout what's going on guys back here with another voiceover it's flex Fridays here with big JC so my brother James uh, and we are hitting some upper body James actually had a bit of back and shoulders but we both started out nonetheless with this you very very unique seat, uh, seated row it was a chest supported you can see it kind of pivots back and it actually gets easier as it comes back. So it's, you get a really good squeeze at the back, but the, the stretch is quite brutal on this one. So um, we worked up to about three plates on that one and I had four sets of 12 to do there. Um, and then this day was a rather humbling experience. Um, I had my 70 reps of auto-regulated pull-ups on this, on this program, this new program. Um, and it took me, I think it took me about seven sets to do it this day. They were, they were quite tough. Um, and carrying on that theme to this next exercise, my first uh, chest press of the day, you'll see here, I go a bit too heavy. And you'll, you'll see my reaction as well. I'm meant to get 12 here. So here you can see my corrected set. Instead of doing the 35 kilos per side, I backed it off to 25 kilos. Uh, so basically went from about 75 pounds back to say 50, 55 pounds. Um, and I got the desired rep range, which was 12 reps. Um, there's James, James here hitting some side raises. You can see he's looking quite lean. James has been training 
for probably about 12, 10 or 12 years now, but so, so really, really solid for the past, say, six or seven years. Um, and he's about 10 years older than myself. So I was actually doing my second chest movement at this point, which was the low incline dumbbell press. Um, and I keep the reps high on these guys, um, still working around that shoulder injury and keeping, just trying to get my volume through lots of sets and reps. Um, so that was four sets of 15 on there. Um, really, really quite taxing at this point in the session. Um, then moving on to side raises. Um, watching these back, it's always good to critique my form. I was coming a little bit too low down with the kettlebells. Um, usually I only like to go to about belly button height and then take them back up and get a slight pause at the stop at the top. So either I was going too heavy or I was just a little bit too fatigued. Um, so I'm going to have a look at that next, next, next workout as well. And from here, both James and I jumped on the uh, chest-supported rear delt machine. Um, this is one of my favorite rear delt machines. Um, it just really isolates them. It feels, feels quite good. So sets of 15 there, three sets. And then finishing off with these twist, um, isolated uh, single arm bicep curls. These feel amazing. There was no preacher curl machine, so I just did them on the uh, lower back extension. Um, so this concluded the upper body workout. It's a really good way to finish the Friday afternoon. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this workout, and I'll see you in the next workout. Always good to train with my older brother, so that, that was a really good workout. Um, so it's, it's Friday night now, 7 p.m. Um, I picked Alice up from work after that session. Um, we actually did a cheeky, or I, I, I actually stopped into McDonald's, um, got myself a Grand Angus with egg, um, and some chips and a Coke Zero. Um, now I'm having kind of round two for dinner, but so I, I left my food fairly late today. Louis, Louis barking. Um, so what we are eating is some kangaroo. So we've got got here two kangaroo patties, uh, a slice of toast, a slice of bread under each. We've got a bit of avocado and just sitting on a, a bed of baby spinach. Um, decent, decent macros. Um, pretty kind of simple and cheap and easy meal. So what we've got here is a Riverside Brewing Co. And these came highly, 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 highly recommended um, from a guy at the bottle shop from last weekend in the Blue Mountains. Um, basically a rundown, it's an Indi Indian Pale Ale. Um, it's two standard drinks for this little bottle, so it's quite strong, 7.7% alcohol. Um, and it's meant to be full of hops um, from four different hops, so keen to give this a shot. Nothing better than a beer on a Friday night. All part of a balanced lifestyle, so cheers. Wow. It's actually not not like anything I've had before. It's um it's unlike anything I've had. It's really um really really fruity. Not not actually really hoppy, just more quite fruity. It almost smells like passion fruit. So, not bad, not bad. I think it'll be, as I drink, it'll even get better and better. So, enjoy your nights, drink responsibly, train hard, and I'll see you over the weekend.